Hello, my name is Delia Scott, and I'm an Agriculture Extension Associate in the Department of Horticulture at the University of Kentucky. I'm going to be demonstrating an inexpensive, easy, and pretty effective way to build a vole trap for use in a high tunnel or for use in the field. And all of these materials can be found at your local hardware store or at a big box store. So the materials that you're gonna need um, include an eight to 10 inch piece of inch and a half PVC. You're going to need an end cap for your PVC. Again, that will fit an inch and a half. And there are a couple of different options for this. There is a push type end cap, and this kind of just snaps on. Or there is another option that's more of a, um, almost a screw on type. With this type of cap, you are going to need to use PVC primer and PVC cement. And just a note on end caps, it is pretty important to use rigid plastic because voles can chew through duct tape. So make sure you use an appropriate end cap. You're also going to need to buy vole bait and then you're going to need to use either sod staples or they're also called landscape stakes. So with our eight to 10 inch piece of PVC pipe, the first thing that you need to do is to clean off any residue that may be on the end. If you cut it, you'll need to clean off any of the, the remaining pieces of PVC. If there's any dirt or debris on there, get that off as well. If you're using the end cap, the push cap type, you just simply pop it on and that one is finished. If you're using the different type of PVC cap, you're going to need to use primer and you're just going to apply this along the top of the PVC cap and let this dry for a few moments. After which you're going to use PVC cement and apply that along the edge where your cap is going to go. And then you're simply going to push the cap on, make sure that it's snug on there and then let it dry for 15 minutes to a couple of hours to make sure it's a secure fit. So after your caps are on and secure, you're going to place about a quarter cup of bait in the closed end of the PVC tube. Make sure you wear gloves when handling this and also make sure that the bait is, is secure against the back end of the PVC pipe. And this is to make sure that no other small animals or humans can come in contact with the bait. So the vole will crawl inside of the PVC tube, get the bait, crawl back out and go somewhere and die, or he may also pass away in the PVC tube. You need to make sure to check the bait every week or two to make sure that um, there is sufficient bait remaining in the end and that you dispose of any voles if necessary. For the sod staple or the landscape stake, you will need to bend it from an arch shape like this into more of a tent-like shape. And we use these to secure them down to the ground so that animals or again, humans can't carry them away or kick them out of place. So we finished making our trap. We're using the kind with the push-in cap We've placed about a quarter cup of bowl bait inside, and now we're going to place it in the high tunnel along the baseboards. So if you're using landscape fabric, you may have to push kind of hard with your, la with your landscape stake or your sod staple, or you can pre-cut holes. But we're basically going to push this in and then secure it to the ground as tight as it can go. You can also step on this to make sure it's tight, but that's pretty good. Be sure that you check these traps at least every week or two to make sure there is bait still remaining and to dispose of any voles that are in the trap if necessary. These traps can also be used in the field or in an orchard as well.